What up home slices, what up home fries, and what up homes of other varieties. So welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, we're going to switch it up and do something a little bit more fun. Now, because I have over 500 videos on my channel, I don't even remember what I've done and what I haven't done. But I do know that we've done this video or episode on Lights at Midnight and that would be predictions and so I thought it would be fun to go through a list of predictions. Now time isn't linear so I mean this can happen from a span of years. And with that being said I'm just going to go through the 10 or 11 predictions that I have and I'll give the time period in which I think it'll happen. Now the first one, I definitely said on Lights at Midnight, because I had a dream or ashram experience, I forget honestly, it was like two years ago, where I was talking about these machines that a person's body is inserted into it and it almost reminds me of like a um, MRI or a CAT scan machine where you put the person's body on it and it's like round. And this thing is supposed to be able to detect diseases and conditions and things like cancers, autoimmune conditions, and things similar to that. And honestly, I feel like they're already working on that. But these diseases that they're supposed to be able to detect are things that I would say many or most doctors tend to miss or gaslight their patients in my case um, where people with issues like I have where doctors will run a bunch of like blood tests and all that stuff and it won't catch what's going on this thing is supposed to catch like everything so I didn't research into this so maybe they have something similar right now I don't know but I do know within the next few years, this might become more popular and more developed and uh, actually be useful. Number two, new voting guidelines, laws or rules. I'm going to say within the next five years. And for number three, I'm kind of squishing this in kind of similar to number two, I think, or I feel, that this election coming up, it's gonna get all foobard. It's gonna get foobard. And I feel like the COVID pandemic thing that kind of screwed things up last time, I think it's gonna be worse in this year's election. I think the election, they're gonna try to be pulling some fast ones and when I say they, honestly, both parties are very suspicious. I'm not throwing blame or accusing one side versus another. I feel like they're both guilty of something. And I'm not going to say out loud because I don't want this video to be taken down for false information. But my prediction is things are about to go down. And again, one side's gonna blame the other for whatever, if, for whatever outcome, if it's not in their favor, they're gonna be start accusing. Now this could be uh, common sense or I don't know, but I feel like things are gonna go down. Number four, cause I threw in a new one. Number four, new pandemic. I feel like we're gonna have another pandemic, but I don't think it's gonna be soon. I feel like it's going to be some time. I would say within 20 years. Yeah, that's kind of like a broad uh or yeah, broad time span. But I feel like there's going to be another pandemic similar similar to like upper respiratory or lung issues, stuff like that. But it'll, I feel like it'll be COVID and it'll just have a new name or 
something similar to Ebola. But uh, anyway, next one. I don't even know what number we're on at this point. Uh, the ocean. The ocean is also foobard. And if you don't know what foobar means, look it up. I'm trying to keep the F word to a minimum, but if I can disguise it as something else, I will. But um, foobar, ocean's foobard. And I feel like within the next year or two, they're going to make it an official crisis. It's a crisis now, but it's going to be an official crisis. The next one I have Biden's death. Um, the time span is not very certain. I know on my paper I have three to five years, but something tells me it'll be much sooner than that. And it'll be due to an illness. I think he has an illness and they're just covering it up right now. But, um, he's not long for this world, unfortunately. And interestingly enough, the assassination attempt on uh, Trump, I believe we had predicted that on the Lamp episode as well in season one, which you guys, I'll put up here for the link if you want to go through our predictions. I think that was like 2022 predictions. However, again, time's not linear, so things can carry on forward. But I'm pretty sure we talk about it there, and I know I've said it before, even like in private conversations, that that was going to happen. Um, the next one, whatever number we're on, devastation in Japan, natural disaster, but I kind of want to include earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. For the longest time, I've had so many dreams about volcanic eruptions, and I think this year we're going to see more of those. Um, why do I say that? The magnetism between the sun and the solar flares and Earth is affecting the seismic activity on our planet, and we're going to see more earthquakes and volcanic eruptions and things along those lines. And where you have earthquakes, you also have tsunamis. But I feel like Japan in general is a prime target for the earthquakes. Mexico, is it Mexico City? Um, anywhere that has any volcanoes or tectonic plates, uh, California, they're in danger. Um, Yellowstone National Park's in danger. They just had it, a mini explosion there. So, um, yeah. So keep that in mind. The next one, I feel like there's going to be a new discovery in the Ar Arctic or Antarctica North Poles, wherever the ice is, <laughs> they're going to find something within the next five years. Whether that's like new organisms, fossils, something. They're going to find something that's going to be important. And I feel like it might be important in terms of like medicine. Uh, the next one, the use of nanotechnology and the medical field to help cure illnesses or repair any kind of like body ailments. I feel like within the next one to three years. And then I said this in a lamp episode as well. Um, new rules and regulations for filming content in specific areas in the United States. So right now, I feel like national parks, they started making people have permits, but I feel like it's going to stretch to historical landmarks or sites and or government or federal owned land they are going to require permits or money or something. Any way the government can capitalize on anything, they're going to take that opportunity and I feel like it's coming. Um, I'm going to guess, I'm bad with, with time by the way, so you know, the years that I give Take that with the grain of salt, of course. But I'm saying within the next two to five. Two to five years. The next one, I feel like down the line, they're going to start outlawing certain dog breeds through banning breeders from breeding more of them. 
And I feel like great examples would be pugs and other dogs that have major health issues from, like, the type of dog it is. So, like, dogs with the scrunched up face that impacts their ability to breathe, I think they're primary, like, the first ones to have that law or rule or something along those lines. Um, And then the next one, of course, more political scandals. Big names will be dropped in relation to S trafficking and pedo rings and bribes, corruption, etc. More judges, senators, mayors, governors, etc. within the within one to five years. And I feel like we're gonna see a lot of it in Texas, Florida, Louisiana, Arizona, and Nevada. A lot of the Mexican border like states. And I feel like a lot of them are paid off by um, cartels or they run their own schemes. And yeah, I feel like we're going to see more of those. And depending if a certain person gets into office, um, I feel like we're going to see more of these things. Not saying that this person is involved. I'm just saying, like, under this person, I feel like they're going to be finding more. And I feel like a lot of it's going to be, like, trying to get rid of him as president. They're going to try to find as many, like, ways to get rid of him as possible. And in doing so, they're going to find some things that might not even be related to him, but... Because they're doing the digging. They're, they're going to be doing the finding. They're going to be finding things. Um, and again, I'm not saying that this person is involved. I'm just saying it's going to be because they're trying to discredit him. And in doing so, they're going to uncover some secrets. So there's two more I want to add. I feel like we're going to have another terroristic threat. Whether they follow through with it. Or they catch him beforehand. I feel like there might be explosives involved, but also see like more new aged types in terms of like shutting down electronics or servers, kind of like the nationwide server outage that we had. Not saying that was due to terrorists. That They said it was something to do with an update. But I feel like an attempt will be made to mess up things like that. Because if you notice the huge impact it had on pretty much everything. Like hospitals, airports, businesses were all affected. I would not be surprised if some sort of terroristic um, thing was done that impacted things similarly. So, I mean, they can knock out servers, power grids, stuff like that. I feel like that is a potential. I'm not trying to fear monger or scare people, but I feel like that might be a potential. Um, I also, another one, here's one, The attempt on Trump, I feel like it's not done yet. I feel like there's going to be more attempts, unfortunately. I do not wish death on another person, ever. Um, I'm just, I just want to point that out. I'm just saying that I wouldn't be surprised if more attempts are made. Whether it's just one more attempt or a couple or a few. Many people hate the guy. They hate his guts. And the thing going on with Biden, with him dropping out, I feel like some people are desperate. So whether it is um, one side versus another, or somebody who just hates the dude and has nothing to do with politics, I feel like... He needs to pay attention, watch out, 
because he's not in the clear yet. Yeah, I know. I said I would give like 10 or 11 predictions. We're probably far past that. But sometimes things just come to me as I talk. That's just how it be sometimes. So, uh, yeah. I mean, that's what I've got so far. I didn't go too far into this again. I wanted to do this for fun, see how many I could get right, and uh, yeah. So if you like this type of video, please let me know down below, because I could do more of them. But um, I just feel like the thing that we have to worry most about right now are the earthquakes, pending earthquakes, and the issues that come along with them. And that has to do, again, with the magnetic field from the sun and the earth and how the solar flares are impacting the earth. But um, that's the only thing I would worry about right now. As for the other ones, again, it can happen in a span of years. But yeah, guys, I'ma leave it here and I will see you guys soon. Peace out.